Hello everyone, thanks very much for watching this video. This, in this tutorial, I will try to talk about this service that's called Adobe Biz Data Pipeline. For example, if you have some data to import to DynamoDB, it will be very simple to use it, to do it if you use this service. Uh, for example, if you have a CSV file or a JSON file and you want to import data back to DynamoDB, what you need to do is then you need to create a new file that code, for example, in this here data csv.tx and in each line you need to have a, G, a JSON object. For example, here the name it will be a string, so it will be the type of this name, it will be the, the type of this um, attribute. And that's it. What I, if you need to do this, I do it in about JavaScript and Python. For example, just I will try to share the code with you in the GitHub repository. And so in the pipeline here, I use the converter that you use in the SDK, the AWS SDK, so that help you do the same things. And about that I use also in the pipeline with Py, I use a uh, boot tree SDK, Python SDK for uh, Python. Okay, I will use uh, SDK for Python, <laughs> sorry. Uh, or in why this format, for example, in this file, what you, why we need to specify this format here, because in uh, DynamoDB, for example, let's take it an example here. This is a database I already created a user table here and the primary key for this table is a username and it's a string. So let's create, for example, a, a record here. Let's go to specify as a text and it will be a DynamoDB JSON. So here we specify we have this username, it will be a string. The stranger thing here is that the type or the string is a capital S, but I don't know why in pipeline, if you just use a capital S, it will didn't work. I don't know why. So you need to, to do it a small S, small letter, okay? Um, after that, uh, you need to import uh, this the file to, to import file to uh, S3. So you have here just a command, a, a command line to be very, very simple to do it. So my, day, my data here, now I import it to S3. After that, we can now launch the data pipeline. So what we need to do in the center, we need to create a new pipeline. Here to specify the name, I don't know. Hello, well, no, it suck. <laughs> import uh, data to user table. I specify a template, so import dynamo backup from S3. I need to specify here uh, where my data is located. It should be in AWS pipeline, so here we have to file. I will select the directory and after that i need to type the name of my tables so here what's the name it will be a user table let's copy past here it should be very simple as this okay and here we specified which region are you my database is i think it's in um, okay it's in ireland so let's your west one <clears throat> here dynamodb right showed Ration short put. So if you, sp I, I, I like to specify here as the 0 0.9. So if you have a, a, a large, a large uh, amount of data that you need to import back to DynamoDB, it's preferable to increase the capacity of this database. Uh, and after that, do your import. And after that, you can just uh, or just you can or like, do like this uh, capacity, and it will be. Um, it will be, I don't know what we can call this, it will be auto scaling as as data at, uh, back to import it to DynamoDB. <coughs> so, it's the same thing. I don't like he, oh, no, okay, let's uh, pipeline and activate. I don't want to have uh, a log 
kin data so if you can enable just to specify which in which uh, part of which uh, s3 uh, bucket you want to have the login like this and i think it's cool everything it's okay but you can activate and okay activate and that's it so i will try to share the code with you in um, my github in this in the comment of this video so ciao